Foundation uh, Teacher of the Year Committee and board members. I'm honored to be able to present my speech today as a spokesperson for world languages here in Utah and really propel my idea forward. I would be honored if I was chosen to present this at the upcoming conference in California for the SW Colt uh, Language Conference. I want to talk about how to revolutionize high school Spanish programs and maximize student equity. Here at Taylorsville, we've been really fortunate to start an AP Spanish program in the last few years. It has really grown exponentially and has kind of been a gold standard for world language education, specifically with AP Spanish. So at Taylorsville High School, we have an enrollment of 1,800 and a Latino population of about 35%. And just four or five years ago, we didn't even have an AP program, but we started it, grew it, supported it, and now we have about 200 students in AP or college level classes here at Taylorsville High School. So I kind of want to talk about those numbers, compare them to other Salt Lake City high schools, and talk about the potential for growth within AP Spanish. So like mentioned here, um, it'll kind of, Taylorsville High School is kind of the gold standard because I was informed that we had the highest AP enrollment in the state of Utah. Um, and that's something we want to propel at other schools. Um, so what does that look like in our district, for example? Granger High School, uh, they have an enrollment of 3,000 students. They have a Latino population of 60%, uh, percent, but their AP enrollment is only 47%, or excuse me, only 47 students. So if, we, if Granger were to mirror the enrollment of Taylorsville, they would take that number well into the 200s, 300s. Um, same thing with Kearns. Enrollment of 2,200, Latino population 43% but an AP Spanish enrollment of only 17 students. Uh, Hunter, enrollment of 2,600 students, Latino population 60%, only 40, stu 40 students in AP. Highland High School, enrollment of 1,600, Latino population 35%, AP numbers only 22 students. So if any of these schools were to mirror the enrollment patterns of Taylorsville High School, they would grow sometimes 500%. So these numbers would sometimes quadruple and that gets these kids onto uh, a good track. What comes after um, AP? Uh, there's lots of different possibilities for them, other classes to take while they're still in high school. Uh, obviously they take the AP Spanish language and culture class. If the school offers AP Spanish lit, they can take that. And then there's three bridge classes at many of the high schools here in Utah. And Thanks to L2 Trek at the University of Utah, there's now a way, even if a school isn't a dual immersion um, feeder, to advocate for a bridge program so that those kids have opportunities to take college level courses after AP. So that's a chance at 27 college credits. That's almost a minor, that's almost a major. So this is a really amazing opportunity for these kids. And like we saw here in these examples, Many of these students, many of these students that speak Spanish or that are of the Latino population aren't currently involved in this opportunity. So let's uh, move over to how we do this, right? Um, kind of what's been our success here at Taylorsville, have a strong teacher, good relationship with kids. Um, how do you advertise and promote with team focused media or their they're memes or different posters throughout the school? Um, who do you build connections with? LIA, Latinas in Action, with your uh, English language learners and their teacher, AVID programs, National Honor Society, Feeder Junior Highs. It's crucial that we have a good relationship with them in order to recruit kids into the program because we want kids to take AP Spanish early as freshmen or sophomores so they can get on that college trajectory. Ad administration as well, super key to have a good relationship with your administration so you can um, they understand your goal and you can promote that with them. Um, and obviously a strong Spanish one through four program that can propel kids into the vision. Um, that's key. Uh, why? This creates a college going culture for many of your kids that are oftentimes at risk. It creates equity for your school and it's a door into AP culture for minority students. So many students who maybe go, go through high school without ever taking an AP class um, may speak Spanish at home and that gives them a door into AP culture. And that way you can invite other teachers in um, from other AP classes like AP History, AP Psych, AP Science to kind of promote that AP culture and keep those kids on a college trajectory. Um, thank you so much for listening to this. I hope I was able to articulate this clearly. I'm confident that there's so much room for growth in the Utah education system, especially within our high schools, of kids who could potentially be in AP Spanish that aren't. 
And I think if we really um, do this system of, of, of recruiting and building these programs, we're gonna create a more equitable system for many of our at-risk kids and really grow exponentially a lot of these world language programs in the state of Utah. Um, I think it's imperative that we serve the demographic that we live in and uh, we can do that through this plan. So thank you so much. I hope to present this idea in California. Adios.